Hello dear students, part 3 of the series of videos on finding the areas of shaded figures. Very important for class 9th and 10th students and I hope you are following the parts which I have posted earlier also and this is part 3. So I have two more figures drawn here. See we in both the figures we have a square and some portion of it is shaded and some is unshaded. Now in this we are having four quadrants which are cut off from the four corners they all have the radius one centimeter the square has a side of four centimeter and in between we have a circle which is unshaded the circle has a diameter of two centimeter so we need to find out this shaded area of square which is not included in these unshaded figures Similarly, we have a square here in the second question and these are the midpoints of the squares. These four points, they are the midpoints. The side of the square is 12 and we have joined the midpoints in such a way that these are the quadrants 1, 2, 3 and 4. These four are the quadrants. So we need to find out the area of the square which is not included in the four quadrants. So these are the two questions. Very simple questions. Just little bit of understanding of areas of uh, figures related to circles is required to solve this problem. Now see this actually is a quadrant of radius 1 cm and the side of the square A is 4 cm. So when we have to find the required area, I told you whenever a part of a figure is unshaded and other part is shaded. The required area is found out by finding the area of the large figure that is the square and subtract the area of the unshaded figures from this. Now what is the unshaded part? So area of 1, 2, 3, 4 quadrants, area of 4 quadrants and another thing area of circle which is drawn in the middle. So we need to subtract two things now. Similarly in this figure when you have to find the required area then again area of square that is a large figure and you have to subtract the four quadrants here. So area of four quadrants. So the questions are similar in the sense that we have to subtract the area of the four quadrants in both cases. Here we have a circle also. So we will solve this first because this is easier. Now the side of the square that is a small a 12 cm and if you notice here this is the midpoint it is given in the question that it is the midpoint these are equal. So this is 6 and that is the radius of the quadrant this is 6 cm because this is the midpoint. So now we have the radius also and the side of the square also. So area of square obviously the formula is a square and area of 4 quadrants 4 into pi r square by 4. Pi r square by 4 is the area of one quadrant. So I have multiplied it by 4 because there are 4 different quadrants. So 4 cancels out and now the problem is very simple. It is just simplification by substitution. A is 12. So 12 square is 144. And since r is 6 and we cannot cancel that 6 by 22 by 7, 7. So I will put 3.14 here and multiply it by 36. So this question now is basically a simplification question. So we can uh, use uh, the Vedic tricks also to find uh, the value of this portion. But again it depends on you how you carry out the multiplication. So 144 minus now 3.14 has to be multiplied by 36. So 6 for the 24. So 8, 18, 3 for the 12, 4 and 9. So 4, 0, 3, 1, 1. So here we have the answer 113.04. So if you subtract this, you are going to get your final answer. This is 20. Okay, this is 31. 
so 30.96 centimeter square this is the answer for this question so whatever time i have taken is only for that multiplication which i did 3.14 into 36 otherwise the question was a basic question of area of shaded figures let's see here now the area of square is a square area of four quadrants just i told you that four if there are four quadrants they make a circle so that is pi r square and if you see the radius is one centimeter here and the diameter is two means radius is one here so if they make one circle of radius one centimeter this is another circle of radius one centimeter so we just need to double this to find the area of the entire unshaded portion so now a here is 4 that means a square is 16 and r is 1 therefore only 2 pi remains so 2 into 3.14 so 16 minus 6.28 so 6 subtracted from 16 gives you 10 and 9.72 is the answer for the question. So friends, you can see that these questions are not tough. Little bit of understanding is required and you need to be careful in carrying out the calculations in these questions. Very important for class 10 students who are appearing for board exams. If you happen to watch this video, do share it with your friends in the school and don't forget to subscribe the channel for watching more parts of this important chapter.